I don't have a lot of time, so let's get this started. Hello, Internet. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going through the last nine months of my empties. I was gonna wait for a year, but uh, my place sold. And I know it's pretty weird, but I don't wanna move it. I wanna recycle it, so uh, here it is. Shall we? I feel like this is a photo right here. <laughs> All right. Where do we begin? We got mascaras. Apparently, I am a big fan of It Cosmetics, because there's three of them. Then we got this uh, Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I also recall this being good. Yeah, I like brushes like this. And uh, a Legendary Brows from Charlotte Tilbury. Four mascaras. I replaced them like what? Does that mean like every two months? Almost? That's not bad. Shall we do toners next? As always, I have my Thayer's Rose Petal Witch Hazel Toner. So these are my two makeup removers. Honestly, the It Cosmetics Miracle Water, I don't really like that much. I don't find that it really takes off makeup. Although now that I'm reading it, it's a three-in-one glow tonic. Skin brightening, radiance booster, anti-aging, treatment essence, skin softening micellar cleanser. No, no, it says cleanse and remove makeup. I did not feel like it did that. This, however, the Bioderma Sensibio H2O Micellar Makeup Remover. This is an MVP. I've been using it, I wanna say like 10 years. Love this stuff. I have a bottle with a pump on the top of it, so I just continue to buy these, fill that one up so then I can just pump the pad. Anywho, then we have facial mist. Okay. There's only these two. And they're both the Wildcraft Balance Toner. Oh, sorry. Wildcraft Balance and Clarify Toner. This one was Bergamot Rose. This one was Geranium Orange Blossom. They both smelled amazing. Canadian brand. Um, also all natural. Serums next. So for serums. We got the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Multivitamin Booster. It has hyaluronic acid in it, so I do like this stuff quite a bit, and it's drugstore, which is nice. It's a little bit better price point. Um, yeah, completely used it dry. Next is uh, Image Skincare. Oh, the Vital C. Everyone needs some vitamin C in their skincare routine, and this particular serum is spectacular, and it smells amazing. First thing in the morning, love putting this on before I put on all my other stuff. A hydrating serum that incorporates the new technology of oil-soluble vitamin C with the highest bioavailability to immediately soothe the visible effects of environmentally damaged skin. Heh. Vitamins A, E, and highly potent antioxidants nourish the skin to create healthy, youthful glow, paraben-free. So, then we have Origins Plantscription's Anti-Aging Power Serum. I love most Origins serums, especially um, their Plantscriptions. I always find, I don't know, my skin just feels awesome afterwards, so. This one's badass and it's nice because it has like a little locking mechanism. So if you're traveling, it won't just start pumping in your suitcase, which is nice. Next, I have one of the Universe Skin serums that was made specifically for my skin type. So it has retinol, B5, and Zila K. I don't even know what that is. I love these things. What they do is they, I mean, I've talked about this before in like a million of my, I shouldn't say a million, there's like two skin. Uh, videos that I've done before, but basically you go in, they do a full survey of your skin. <laughs> survey. <laughs> they do like a diagnostics on your skin and then they make a custom serum right there with the active ingredients um, shot in, so it's just like super fresh. And um, the active ingredients are like the most potent they can be, so would recommend this to anyone. I think they're a little bit pricey, but I mean, it's like getting skincare that's directly, uh, like a direct prescription for your own skin, which is awesome. So, but I think this is only at certain uh, dermatologist places, so look it up. Next, Skin SkinCeuticals. 
Love this brand. It is so amazing. Uh, this was the Serum 10, which uh, combines 10% L-ascorbic acid with ferulic acid to provide antioxidant and anti-aging benefits. Everything I've tried from their brand, I'm just like, yes, 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 and yes. And I love how all of their stuff works together. I have another skin scoops. Skin scoops. Sit. Skin Suticles product in here as well. Highly recommend. Now we're just gonna move on to facial creams. This was my Egyptian magic. This is one of my favorite rando buys that I ever did. It was maybe, I don't know, probably 10 years ago as well. Costco had this stuff and I was just like, what is this? My mom bought it and um, I've been loving it ever since. It has um, beeswax and bee pollen and royal jelly in it. And uh, in the winter, this stuff is hydrating, so amazing. It smells, you're not buying it for the smell, let's put it that way. It smells like oils of some variety. This is the other skin suit, my gosh, skin. Suticles that I love. Whenever I'm wearing makeup, I will put on this physical physical fitness UV events SPF 50. It's just like such a thin layer and um, spreads really nicely. If I'm not wearing makeup, I will use Neutrogena Hydro Boost situation on my face because I want maximum cover. Next, we have Avishi Arjalia. Aqualia, I don't know, Thermal Reach. I don't know, man. It's quite scented, but um, it is a cream, but it almost has like a watery texture to it. And yet it is really hydrating, but like lightly, I don't know, can't, I'm terrible at describing skincare, but enjoyed it a lot. Next up is the Primrose Avocado Moisturizer Balm Panacea which this is a Gabriel Island buy. I usually get it every single year, but this year I was like, dude, I got way too much stuff sitting in the backlog to be used. Like I can't just be going and buying more stuff. I just don't want to waste things. So I did not buy this again this summer, but this is from last year. I guess I finished it this year. Anyway, smells amazing. I feel like my skin looks brand new after I use this in the evening. Next up. I tried the Hint Beauty Day Prep. This was sent to me by the Detox Market. I don't know, man. It was nice though. Skin. So out of everything I just showed you, I bought this and these, this possibly? Everything else was sent to me. Oh, sorry, and this. Oh, oh, oh. There it goes. So I guess let's talk cleansers. I've been bouncing around cleansers a lot, so I have a few on the go right now, which probably explains why there's only been three used so far in this amount of time, which seems strange. However, DHC is a Japanese brand that I have been really digging since I went to Japan three or four years ago, probably four years ago. Okay, anyway, so this is the cleansing oil, which is amazing if you don't wanna take off your makeup and then cleanse, all you have to do is just put this all over your face and it just melts it away, beautiful. The next is their face wash powder, which is an exfoliant that you can just combine with other face washes or use on its own. Both great products. Next up is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Exfoliating Cleanser. This stuff makes me feel like I have new skin. <laughs> it has hyaluronic acid in it as well, but I just like the scrubbing of it before I put on my vitamin C. Deodorant, we got the Schmidt's Eden Garden, Eden's Garden Earth and Wood Natural Deodorant. I usually use uh, Sage's spray deodorant, which I haven't, I have two bottles that are like almost empty. The stuff smelled amazing. It was a limited edition one, but um, Schmidt's does a ton of natural deodorants and they all smell spectacular. The Lavender Tips is really good as well. Uh, this was the Pura Honey and Ginger Deodorant. Pura is a, also a Canadian beauty brand there in Edmonton. All natural, luxurious ingredients. Love it there stuff so much. This deodorant, I don't know if it's my body chemistry, but it did not work for me, and I don't think they make it anymore either, so maybe I'm not the only one putting that out there. All right, let's talk about hair. I'm pretty sure I had finished other hair stuff, but I think I might have taken them on vacation and then just 
recycled them while I was away. I don't know if anyone else does this, but when I pack to go places, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna bring the things that are almost used up, so then I'll use them up and then I'll leave them. And then I'll make more space in my, my suitcase. Is that right? Either way, so far I only have three products. And one is the a Gliss, the Bliss of Gliss, <laughs> uh, Schwarzkopf um, Gliss Hair Repair Shampoo. I have to say, in terms of drugstore shampoo, I was pretty impressed with this. And I kind of like the smell of it too. It has like a little bit of a vanilla-y kind of smell to it. And then I have the Amica Nourishing Mask with Sea Buckthorn Berry. And this stuff smelled pretty dang good too. I'm pretty sure I finished a shampoo and conditioner from Amika as well. I think it was a color treated one. All their stuff that I've tried so far has been really great. And this lasted a really long time. And I mean like I just drenched my hair in this because my ends are quite, not broken, but uh, they can get dry. Next up is the Moroccan oil dry shampoo. I liked it. I'm trying to find a good shampoo or dry shampoo that isn't um, in an aerosol container. But if anyone has any suggestions, shoot me a comment. I'm obviously in the in the business of trying things, so would love to know what you love. Next up, let's talk body wash. I finished a whoosh shower gel. Oh yeah, it was very zesty. This was I finished this at the start of the year, so I don't. I don't remember it. The thing about uh, shower jellies that I just like, never really understand is how they work. Like, do you take the whole thing out at once and then try and use it? Because I just find it just like drops and flubs, I don't know, breaks off. And then if you do break off little pieces to use, and by little I mean like, you know, handfuls, it just goops everywhere. Am I using this wrong? Uh, is this product just not for me? Would love to know. And then of course, my freaking diva wash from a diva cup, from a life, for all my areas, all the things. I love this stuff. I wish the packaging wasn't so tacky, and I'm pretty sure there are somewhat of chemicals in this as well, but it is supposedly 100% plant-based. It is pH balanced, which is important for me at least. I have a temperamental body. This could technically be classified as uh, body body cream. The Rose Argan Body Conditioner, full of nourishing butters and topped off with our addictive Rose Jam fragrance. It was pretty great. It's as if you were like conditioning your skin like you would your hair. I love Aveeno when it comes to body cream. <laughs> so this is just the daily moisturizing lotion. Fragrance free. Oh, speaking of cleansers, I also finished Clairsonic Head. It was getting to be time. I also used uh, some sort of soap, I think, from Lush. I got in one of their giant Christmas gift bags or something. Um, I love Lush soap, just as long as it doesn't have sparkles in it. Next up, speaking of Diva Wash, this is my other uh, cure-all for any vaginal needs. My sister makes this cedar-infused oil and it's amazing for any sort of cuts because not only does it like moisturize the area, it's also antimicrobial, so cleans it out somewhat. It smells amazing. I don't know if anyone loves the smell of cedar like I do, but so good. And um, yeah, I used probably two bottles of this a year. So she's fortunate enough to keep me in cedar oil. Thank you, Katie. And then I have the last two items. One is Schmidt's toothpaste, which I freaking love. Um, my favorite is the, I think it's like a mint charcoal one. It's amazing. This was the Jasmine Spearmint. This one was almost too floral or fruity or something for me. I like I like my toothpaste to be minty. This reminded me of like toothpaste when I was a child and you know, it was fragrant, I don't know. Like the strawberry ones, so weird. And then last item is the Rocky Mountain Soap Co. Omega-3 hand cream. Their little hand creams are great. They have like a coconut one that's that brings us to the end. This might have been the fastest video I think I've ever filmed and it's just a little short one for you, but I uh, thought I'd give you an update before I recycled all this stuff because it's not coming with me. It's not, I, I won't have it. I also bought this Ikea bag. All right, 
There it is.